we are live three we seconds live. yeah we hope the sound is good can somebody type in anything in the chat there were people waiting we saw you yeah we oui, wait oui. what's going on five we have five viewers nancy oh i surprised myself because i had the window playing okay that was i was like who's talking can you hear me yes can you hear me yeah sure very good all right so um it's world war three guys were you ready for this hi brian evans mm, no hey brian evans wait wait nice to meet you brian from flanetli hey free fringers hi wait, wait. <laughs> very cool that you're here yeah Lindsay called me today after her photo shooting and she told me we can go live very nice yeah my schedule has been kind of all over the place so when i when i do have the opportunity you know yeah i'll jump on that yeah so what's going on Lindsay? i don't know theater and hey so valley parks hi valley parks happy whatever day this is yeah very 24th 2022 so really? Maddie's got some stuff planned for us sorry go ahead Manny. sorry yeah yeah no no uh we always go live together so brian adams yeah funny <laughs> yeah, yeah let's right. let's hope uh everything will change to the good we know uh most of the political uh freemason and actors yeah and yesterday i found uh something about this i will show you now on my screen so what is this then yeah let's see if it works yeah it looks good Lindsay, your english please expose the once disclosed in 1944 during the end of world war ii the us and new zealand conducted an operation called project seal where a series of tests consisted of tsunami bombs designed to destroy to destroy coastal cities by using underwater blasts to trigger massive tidal waves. Yeah, and I also think that the mud flood is from humans made, not from our creator, because our creator, I don't think he want to destroy us. That's a good point. Yeah, and uh, so I was looking for uh, uh, for the stuff of the project seal operation uh, project seal, and I found some really interesting document, and I will bring it in now. So there is a homepage called want to know info i don't even seen this before and uh you will also never seen this Lindsay. or no, no. Yeah. never seen it never heard of it and very cool the secret uh was uh what's the right word scrapped out. <laughs> yeah scrapped out with the coolie and yeah maybe you can read it Lindsay. okay seal project as regarded as a joint united states new zealand project disclosure of the report therein to a third country other than the united kingdom is prohibited without the consent of the appropriate authorities in the united states of america and new zealand yeah. 
The project, the project sealed, sealed had its origin, had origin in a request of command for South Pacific area, area during April 1944 to the New Zealand, New Zealand government, government for an inv investigation. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm I'm on my own head. For an investigation yeah. into the potentiality yeah. of offensive inundation by waves generated by means of explosives. During the period, the period of April 1944, exploratory projects in New Caledonia indicated that there were reasonable prospects of developing technologies for favorable sites. The request incorporated two phases, the development of techniques and the application of these to a trial upon an operational scale. Owing to Owing change, change policy, policy at a later date, the second start part was cancelled. The, the work was carried out by the 24th Army Troops Company, New Zealand Engineers, with the cooperation of the Royal New Zealand Air Force, the U.S. Navy, and the Royal New Zealand Navy between June 6, 1944 and 8 January 1945. Some 3,700 experiments were carried out with charges ranging from 0 0.06 pounds to 600 pounds of TNT. Uh, used uh, generally, generally, although, uh, oh, nitro starch and, and, and gel metal were used in some cases. July 25th, 1946, the second atom bomb took place at Bikini Atoll under conditions of direct comparisons with forecasts based upon the work of the SEAL field. These forecasts were verified within the limits of experimental error. The investigation led to the conclusion that offensive inundation is possible under favorable circumstances. Given low lying conditions and a shelving bottom offshore, wave amplitudes of the order of the most recorded tidal waves, which have been disastrous, can be obtained. While TNT or other explosives can be used, the engineering work is especially involved introduces difficulties of considerable magnitude. The use uh, of the multiple charges made more practical. She uh, has, uh, she oh, has oh. Uh, headphones on. Are you talking to yeah. me, Manny? Yeah, uh, uh, your audio is not so good. They that thing in. Oh, God. Yeah. Where is that? Yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe oh, you have headphones Sorry, where... Sorry, I was. Well, saying, yeah, yeah, was no problem, no problem, Lindsay. All right, all right. Well, well crap. so this is a study. Yeah, 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 yeah and, and, uh, and so on and so on. This documentary is very cool. I will post the link uh, after our live stream in the description box. Is it red, Lindsay? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Is the sound better? Uh, better now? With. Is there still an echo, guys? I don't know why the microphone is picking up. Yeah, last time with Santos, it also don't worked really good. It was like that. Oh, oh what, if, what if it's this knob? Is this changing? I'm not is sure. They say you have an echo. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, Shit. Am uh, I on Pandora? Now, now it's better. Now, now we don't hear you, Lindsay. At all? Uh, now I hear you. But you, voice? you are really soft. And this is an echo. For for me, it's okay. Mm. For me, for me, it's okay. Yeah, Thanks. let's go. Let's go on. Yeah, uh, I will post the link uh, of this document under our live stream. When we are finished. So let's go on with... Lindsay, talk, 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 talk. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking about the mysteries of the universe. I'm like, I'm like mm, yes. yes. So, so this project this seal, seal, is this as in the Navy SEALs? And is this is this really what their mission is uh, for the US military and I guess also New Zealand? 
to be able to wage this kind of warfare where you can just completely mess up a coastal city uh, in a target attack. Yeah, like they show it in one movie, Deep Impact, was it? Yeah. But there, there they show it, yeah, with an asteroid, yeah. On the ball. Oh, wait, oh. wait. Yasmin is here. And sketches, sketches. Glenn is also in the Yasmin, Yasmin, you want to jump in? I send you the stream. You have to blink right now. Wait a second. Still echo. Shit. Yeah, I can turn up. It might be picking up sound from my headphones because this is a. Uh, I don't yeah. have sound. I can't hear any. any. So. Mm. Yes, man, I sent the link in our French chat. In oh, I'll reboot WhatsApp. the link. So, Lindsay will reboot. No sound, Lindsay. Uh, your microphone. Yeah, now I hear you. Yeah, but yeah. very reboot, no, reboot. low, low. But I should reboot. <laughs> no, no. Um, reboot turning, turning mic. Button here, button here. Yeah, yeah, I see it. But I don't know where the start is or where the end is. It just goes round and around forever. Oh, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I took a shower today. It's amazing what that does. That's... Yeah, Lindsay always looks good. <laughs> She's a flat person. I stay flat. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Today I'm, I'm, I do, sound, sound sucks. Sound sucks. I, don't yeah. know, I, don't... I have a cool video, Lindsay, uh, I found today. And he also said, stay flat. It's about the fake settle loans. Okay, Wait okay. A second. Yeah, I found it. It's about right, six right. six minutes. Let's bring it in. And sounds good. Hope, sounds good. Yes, let's hope the sound the sound will be good. Yeah. So check check. Can every have your sounds, catches, catches? Can you hear? Sounds can you hear? Sound sucks. Sound sucks. Sound sucks. Turn it up. Sound. In a couple's yard. Yeah. Yeah, I can't hear anything. Fuck. Well, you background? can hear it, but very, very low. So just turn up the volume. Yeah. Let's check it again. Is it better? It's a little better. Yeah. I'll turn off. Out our microphones and I take you on my iPhone, Lindsay. Story circulating online about a satellite that came down in a couple's yard out in Michigan. So, here, let's let's go ahead and get into this real quick. All right, let me see. All right, yeah, Michigan family shocked to find space gear crashed onto their property. Okay, so here's a picture of the satellite, as it were, on their property. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah, let's get into this. Saginaw County, Michigan, Nancy Welke says she heard something crash onto their property on the Saginaw and Gradiot County line around 845 this morning. Uh, Gradiot County 911 confirms they are investigating. Welke says she went outside and found a device that appeared to be from outer space. <laughs> Here we go. Welke said the device was still making noise. The device had the wording Samsung space selfie on it uh, here yeah let's let's check out this video real quick never know what's gonna happen this baby fell out of the sky and landed in our yard it's never boring on the Welky farm thank God there are no horses out or it didn't hit the house <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, let's move on. Uh, earlier in the week, Samsung Electronics unveiled the first, the world's first selfie sent to space, captured by actor, model, and philanthropist Cara Delevingne. Vin, Vigne? Sure. Cara Delevingne. Let's go with that. And shown for the first time during a celebrity field event at the newly opened Samsung KX Experience <laughs> Space. <laughs> Samsung says the selfie is the first of many that Samsung will lift into the stratosphere this month as part of Space Selfie, a mission to give everyone the chance to get a face in space. Get their face in space, that is. Uh, okay. Uh, apparently, the. Yeah, let's. Uh, Samsung says images will then be selected at random, displayed on Galaxy S10 5G 6.7 inch screen and captured using a unique view of planet Earth as the backdrop. This photo will be sent back down to Earth for its owner to share on social media. Okay, so there was uh, some sort of uh, publicity stunt, apparently, to uh, have people buy into 5G, which uh, a lot of us know or uh, you know have heard about the damage that 5G causes, uh, you know, the uh, increase in uh, microwaves. Uh, with all these short-range towers, but um, yeah, in order to further that agenda and continue the space agenda, uh, people are, you know, they're they're using this as a promotion to get people bought into having their selfie as the, what what with the with Earth as a backdrop because this balloon was supposed to be going up to space. The only problem is space is fake. Okay. Uh, that's the that's the big that's the big issue with that you know that whole idea of having a pressurized system like Earth next to a vacuum space, but that's supposed to be without a physical barrier separating the two. It it, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, it doesn't stand to reason. It doesn't match up with reality. And um, as a result of space being fake and them not being able to actually send anything into space, like they send the rockets up and they just go to the side, that doesn't actually, you know, go out to space. Those rockets crash out in the Bermuda Triangle, perhaps. <laughs> um, you know, because nothing can escape the firmament, it, it goes up to a certain point, and then, you know, what goes up must come down. That's We, we all know that. And here's more proof of that. Uh, this this fake satellite uh, coming back crashing to the ground and landing in Nancy's yard. So, yeah, more proof there. Uh, there this this article is being shared all over social media. I just hopped off of Facebook and I saw it all along the thread. A few people had shared it already. I'm about to go share it again. Share this video. I'm gonna post the link in the description for this article so you can check it out. And uh, share it for yourself. Um, yeah, get this out there. People need to know that space is fake, that NASA lies, and that the Earth is stationary. This is an enclosed system that was created, this flat Earth that we all live in. And uh, it's necessary to let everybody know what's going on as a first step to have people wake up from the idea that they can actually trust these um, government officials, the, the people that run these governments. Because, uh, I mean, we're finding out that they're a bunch of criminals, too, tied up in this whole um, human trafficking situation that's being busted up all over the world. But that's what's up with this article. Uh, Michigan family shocked to find space gear crashed on their property. <sighs> Interesting times we live in. That's all I got. Just trying to keep this video short for you. As always, be good to each other. Take care of yourself. Stay flat. I'll see you next time. Thank you. So we are back again. How was this? Have you heard it at the end? Stay flat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can trust me. Hey, Andrea is here. Hey, Andrea seventy three. Wait, wait, Brian Evans. 
Uh, uh, Parks, who's, who's who's chat? Did you get blocked in? Uh, where can you read this, Lindsay? Third from the bottom. I got blocked in his chat, and I'm sure. I don't know what that is. I'm also don't know. <laughs> I don't know who is blocked. You are live with us now. Oh yeah. Uh, does anyone want to hop in with us today? Also, we have we have uh, some stuff to show. But if you want to come say hi, that's always cool. But do you want to? Andrea, Andrea want to jump in? <laughs> it's fun. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was D Marble for sure. Well, I don't know D Marble. Yeah. Oh, sorry. My three pot was in the way. Yeah. Uh, let's. Brian says he'll be back in a bit. Yeah. We are here. Uh, yeah. Let's share the link. Whoop, whoop. And Martin and Santos, for you, you always have the golden ticket. Also, Sean Hibler, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, they have my number and can call me if they want to jump in. <clears throat> Lindsay shared the link with Martin. Um, Lenny, do you want to show? Did you want to show a short thing so you can take care of it? Yeah, yeah, I have a cool video uh, uh wait a second wicked travis my friend brings out a very cool flat earth film flatten the curve uh, yeah, it came out yeah. yeah yeah and uh, there is a good part in with the air turbine and i found this and i want to show you this now oh wait. sweet yeah so let's check the sound. Been a military for me, it works. For you, Lindsay? Yep. yep. Aviation for the last 21 years. And I became an FE somewhere around 15 or 16 when I really started looking at conspiracies. Uh, I looked into Benghazi because I happened to work on government contracts abroad overseas but i've been in aviation for 21 years anything from helicopters to aerostats to big birds little birds fighter jets things with engines no engines big blades little blades compressor blades which by the way that one's not a hoax jets do not run only on compressed air contrary to popular belief it takes compressed air in a blended ratio of air to fuel to drive the now heated gas and rotate the compressor blades this has been a topic of a discussion between FE and, you know, not everything's a hoax. Coriolis effect with that ties into obviously with no spin around the axis points that they say exist at 23.4 conveniently 66 off the, the 90 degrees, right? Everything ties into 666 with NASA and all the BS scientists. Our aircraft have things called ADIs attitude direction indicators, which give correlation between the aircraft housing or the shell around the gyro itself. The ADI is nothing more than a gyro that will always reference level. I don't care what any pilot says. I don't care what any mechanic tells you. You know, there's a reason that pilots have one book called the Pilot Operating Handbook, and there's every other book, right, from structures to avionics to wind diagrams to the actual components that make up these systems. That is a standalone system. The ADI does not lie. You don't care how cold it is, how high you are. And some of these guys are pretty damn high. It doesn't matter where you're going. It doesn't matter where you've been. It doesn't matter where you are over the realm itself. I woke up to the truth of the flat earth, shape of the earth as an engineer and a pilot. So I've studied 
engineering, physics, three different ways, basic physics, electric physics, and construction physics. And also as a pilot, as a rotary wing pilot, that is hel helicopter pilot, I studied aeronautical physics as well. So I can cover and discuss just about any factor of flat earth. Not, not that I'm any smarter than anybody else, but I've studied quite a bit of factors that analyze shape and motion of, of just about any object. That's physics, also aeronautical physics, and principles of flight. I can tell you this, airplanes fly straight and level. That's even an aviation term, straight and level. Airplanes will fly for hours at the same altitude, never dipping their nose down to follow the curve of the earth. An aircraft on a 12 hour or even 18 hour flight from Portland, Oregon to Seoul, Korea, that would have that aircraft starting at one point and then flying so far around the earth that it's flying downwards with its nose vertically downwards and then starting to go around around the curve of the earth so that the airplane is now flying upside down would have to make that kind of a flight path on a globe which is it's such an absurdity so that being yeah right guys really really good Re stuff. very good yeah and uh been learning about the gyroscope. Um, if you're in the FEB chat on Facebook, um, Toby Roberts gave a very good breakdown of the gyroscope and why the three gimbal gyroscope is proof of a stationary flat earth. plane. Yeah. plane. It's plain, like Santos said. <laughs> I, told, I, I told him so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's four. It's 420, Andrea 73. You're three hours ahead of me. Where or oh oh no no no. <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking. I just saw no 420. Problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. So if you haven't seen it yet, guys, definitely check it out. Yeah. In the curve. And there is uh this from Victor Schauberger. I will bring in. So uh, it was in a letter to Werner Zimmermann. So Victor Schauberger built the air turbine for the airplanes. Yeah. Mm. It's all about free energy, Lindsay. I will put this in the Google Translator. Maybe you can read it. So. Okay, Vividness 420, I'm just keeping my headphone sound as low as possible to be able to hear Manny without having it. Yeah, uh, for me, for me, the sound is great, Lindsay. Okay. I have an echo, so I have no idea. So to me, if I hear an echo, that means that you've got two microphones on. Okay. The principle of this vacuum turbine is that in a capillary tube and a double twist tube that has built-in electromagnets, an artificial thunderstorm or high electrical air tension is created, which transforms the air substances into electrical energy, which is discharged into the sidewalls and from there in the diffusion path are conducted downwards as heat. This conversion of air into energies creates an upward increasing physical vacuum and due to the heat gradient that gradually runs downwards a strong air current upwards which increases after a few minutes to a cyclone like force yeah and as you can see this letter is very long and wait a second maybe you also can translate this one Victor was a master. Hi, Debbie XXXX. Is that Deborah? Oi, oi, Debbie. Deborah, jump in. Jump in, <laughs> Deborah. Yeah, the more the merrier. Yeah. She was uh, on Instagram today, the first time live with some video. It was a okay. short video. 
Flat Dumps, der Bora, Jump in. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, here we go. After the air pressure can be successively lowered upward in this extremely simple way, the countercurrent of the air increases to over 200 kilometers per hour, therefore achieving approximately 10,000 horsepower of braking power on an inclined plane of the propeller. With that, the fuel-free and silently moving airplane was invented because the physical vacuum created inside the machine creates a vacuum in front of the head end of the machine, whereby the machine itself is brought forward. This suction can be increased at will by appropriate design of a lung or gill system installed inside the machine so that the motive power and speed of the apparatus can be increased at will because the rec- recoiling air piston is the fuel. The recoiling air piston is the fuel that analytically breaks down and triggers the physical countercurrent, creating suction forces. I hope Google Translator did it well. But I think it yours, did. Yeah. Makes sense to me. Yeah. So, and here is the... This is really cool, Wendy. Yes. So, check this out. I have finally achieved what I've been striving for for 20 years, namely to devalue coal, oil, and hydroelectric power. These substances are intended for the formation of food, and with the increasing removal of these substances from the earth organism, food worries had to arise because people are constantly multiplying and taking more and more from the earth what serves for their subsistence. The air substances converted by my machines form, since no combustion process is involved, very high quality nitrogen products, which have an increasing and driving effect on the vegetation. With this, I met the technician who uses substances that are invented, I'm sorry, intended for the formation of food by means of warm combustion to create movement and therefore disturbs the natural the natural structure until the gross growth processes come to a standstill so with his technology not only is it not putting harmful substances into uh the biosphere the biosphere yeah. it's actually sure. feeding the plants because what is plant food made out of nitrogen yeah and victor was the greatest flat earth ever but they don't tell this to us, Nancy. We got spirit levels music in the house. Yeah, they don't wait, wait. because they can't make they can't make money off of that. Yeah. Debbie says hi to Andrea. Deborah, if you have a laptop and you have a great uh, a great uh, what's the right name for the headset? You have a cool headset. Jump in. You only need. Google Chrome and the Dream Yard link. Yes, and you don't have to have a fancy setup either, but it's definitely helpful if you uh, if you have headphones. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, is someone? No. No, 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 no. Hey, Manny. Oh, wait. Cool, cool. The fuels of the future will only be oxygen oversaturated air masses which will reduce the mechanical and physical air pressure on earth and also improve the high altitude air conditions in the low lying areas in the sense of increasing vegetation. And at the same time, tropical like changes will have to occur, which will counteract the coming ice age. These machines will completely change the entire world economy and make wars, etc., superfluous because there will inevitably be an overabundance of vegetative substances that will have to be used up if negative power surpluses are not to occur the opposite in the opposite way, as is the case today, and thus once again lead to elementary catastrophes. In this way, charity and tolerance become the dictates of reason, because increasing turnover turns into prosperity, i.e. charity, which, as is well known, could not be achieved through the threat of hell and the devil adjust itself in this way and even become an object of speculation for mankind. I am now working feverishly to complete this most simple and cheap breathing machine and hope to show you the finished work by the end of the month. 
very cool. So, and here is the last step. Week to uh, was very cool. I wonder if Victor Schauberger has any schools named after him in Austria. Yeah, that would be nice. There's only one museum. Oh. And Deborah wrote she will go live with us next time. Yeah, oh. here here it is. I bring it in. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then your work begins, namely the work of the mountain and valley sermon, the call to reason the end of which is the turning inside out of today's economic order and disorder. Destiny seems to have brought us both together. Again, I reiterate that you can rely on me 100% for my ability to bring you material that will make the whole world sit up and take notice and will be so disturbing that you will, you will be flocked to, from, to and from all sides when you start preaching. It's my job to research and seek, to unveil, your job is to speak and clarify. And with that, your economic ring will become what it should be, the point of power that spreads in waves and encompasses everything that still exists. Uh, spark of reason. Sincerely yours, Victor Schauberger. But it yeah. didn't go that way, did it, Mr. Schauberger? No. Yeah. Victor. Could have. Yeah, he also wants free energy for all and this page is very cool can you see how many information from victor is in here it's very cool yes and it's in wordpress you can't translate the whole page uh lends it much uh it's not so easy because there are uh, some words you cannot uh, mm. So easy to translate from German to English. Okay. But maybe we will together will uh, get it out or find it out or can do it. What does NATO force mean? Is that the forces? The what, forces? what, what? Oh, just wondering what. Ah, Natur, Natur force. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait. Uh, Natur force. Yeah. The power wait. of nature. A naturforscher, researcher of nature. Oh, okay. So, naturalist. Okay. Yeah. Learning. Yeah, me too, Lindsay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So. That's inspiring. Wow. Yeah. And the byproduct yeah. of his machine. Oh, that kills me. You wanna hear the Luft turbine again? <laughs> uh, powering up. Yeah. If you want. Yeah, I search for it. Wait a second. And it uses so little fuel. The fuel is really just to get it up to speed, right? And then so yeah. it's, it's sucking in. Compressed air. Yeah. From the from the valve head, from the air intake. From the ether. Rene would, yes. would say from the ether. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So can we all put our intent toward using this technology so that we can heal this place and stop the parasitic consumption of all of these combustibles, please? That that would be nice, Lindsay, yeah. So video looks good. Let's check it. Sound on. And everybody of you should watch Level the Film. Go to OTT TV or Hippler Productions and watch this movie. Can you hear it? It's quite low. Shit. Okay.
Yes, the machine changed the world. Alex Michael cannot tell me how many hertz this is, Lindsay. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. And look, he will now discon uh, disconnect the, con uh, the the power source. Yeah. And the air turbine runs on. Now you can see it. Oh, yep. Still running. Very cool. <laughs> That's. Ooh, we've got uh, kind of really... in the house. Wait, wait. Hey, jump me. in. Met the jump in. You find the link in the chat? I can scroll up a little bit. Wait, wait. Flat thumbs. Oh, love my flatter family. These guys are cool. And yeah, yeah. I've got shrieking children in the far off distance. Hey, Frank, you want to say hi? No, he's sleeping. But that was Deborah. <laughs> I yeah. hope you are good, Deborah. Because she she had the runner hooks. <laughs> oh, she did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You but, had a cold, Deborah. Yeah, yeah. She was cold. She had a cold. <laughs> Yeah, the sun doesn't set. It just goes away. It just goes far off into the distance. Yeah. And look, look. I have a cool Alex Mackel t-shirt. The Gleason map. With the with the Bora, uh I don't know the name. The flower of the, life. Yeah, uh, that, that was mine. And Deborah, uh, this was a gift from here. Deborah, what's, what's the name from the stone? I forget it. <laughs> I can't remember the stone. Um, uh, Shungit. It was a, a Shungit. Oh, Shungite. Yeah, you know this? Yes. I don't know the property. Yeah. Oh, you tested negative. That's good. Shungit. Yeah, yeah. Deborah. Uh, wait, I bring her in. Yeah, uh, Matt, do you want to jump in? We will bring the link again. Or do you have dishes to do today? I have dishes to do today, but I'll have to do them in a little bit. Yeah. So jump in, jump in, jump in. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's have a little bit of fun. Oh, fun. Fun, yeah. When we have fun, I will bring on my sunglasses. <laughs> Will, Lindsay. Hi, DMAD. Hello. Hi. Wait, wait. Penny, he's asking IDMAD or ADMAD. What, what, what? It's a simulation. Mm. No, I don't think it's a simulation. No, me too. Not it's a sim physical world. Yeah. But it's it's just one of many layers, the three D. That's that's what all of the focus is on. Um, in this place is the physical, what we can see, taste, touch, you know, smell, measure, weigh. But that's only a part of what's going on here. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, but but I don't I don't I don't buy the idea of us like literally being plugged in. So I just kind of reject that because whose video game are we playing in? If that's the case, I don't like that. That's um, true. There's this really messed up cartoon show uh, called Rick and Morty, and in one episode, um, they went to like. The world or the the universe's biggest arcade like a, a game hall where you can go play video games and stuff um and morty goes this kid he goes to play this game and it's called life or the game of life or something and you just you just hook in with your vr headset 
and uh, play the game. But for from his perspective, it felt like 60 years. He lived an entire life. Um, yeah. You know, and That's then the true. game, you know, then he then he dies and he wakes up. And his friend who's watching says, oh, my gosh, I was watching you that whole time. It took forever and it was so boring. And all you did with your life was like you worked in a carpet store and then you got cancer and then you healed from cancer and then you went back to working in the carpet store and then you died. Like that was your whole existence. Yeah. So we're stuck in a program. So that part of it is a simulation because it's so far from from what we should be naturally doing, I think. That's I, think it's, I think it's in our nature to strive for beauty and and peace and all of those good things. But when we're stuck in this programming, um, it blinds us to our true potential, I think. So that's simulated. This, this paradigm program that we find ourselves in, totally simulated. Uh, it's intriguing to me that there's no edge to a simulation, but there's a point where it ceases to exist, so to speak. Like in a video game where it's where you're on a plane and then you go towards the outermost edge of the map, but it's not like you run into a black wall vertically that hits you in the face. No, it just turns into gray, like it just can't load. It doesn't mean that there's nothing there. It just means that it hasn't been populated yet yeah data is that what we're in i don't know yeah i also don't know lindsay <laughs> <laughs> and wisdom is key to overcome and yeah what is what is wisdom it's that it's often called knowledge plus experience like you can't have wisdom without experience and you can't have wisdom without knowledge, I guess, but the, the two of them together. That's true. And it's a mad, 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 mad world out there. Spinning around. Yeah. Fakely. <laughs> yeah. And the radio and, and the lie vision. I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because if they want to show the humans a cool, and a clear star, uh, then they will get this. I will bring in a cool star video. I made this with the Nikon B1000 for you, Lindsay. Oh. And thank you, Santos Bonacci, my brother. He shared it for you. You know how many clicks it has? Will you see it? Uh, yes. 906. Thank you, Sambo. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's about six minutes and good music from Alex. Is it okay, Lindsay? Oh, um, sure. Before, right before you do that, um, so that we can, yeah, everyone, everyone, type in the chat where you like. Uh, where is everyone located on the plane? We can get group unity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Deborah is from from Austria. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, happy. Please share, guys. Yeah. It's insight in deeper causality. I'm like that meme lady with the numbers. She's like, like all the numbers appearing right here. So what? Uh, here's a, a message for you, Lindsay. Yes. Where is everyone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vividness 420 in Denmark. Cool. Denmark. Andrew sent me an Oi, Austria, Deborah. <laughs> Andrea, yeah, you will be. Andrea, you will be with Matt on tour. That's very cool. Australia. Queen, hey, Australia, you live upside down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, with that? the feet over your head. Spirit levels, Essex, East London. Cool, cool. Cool, cool. Have you been to some protests okay. in London with those people filling the streets? Oh, Roberto Rocha. E. A Central. new one. Hi, we don't recognize your name. Thanks for coming by. Flat Dams, Lindsay. 
<laughs> Roberta, nice to have you. Let's have some fun. So, Madden, Florida. Tampa. 88 degrees Fahrenheit in February. Mm. Wow. That sounds really good right about now, though. It's shit cold in Chicago. Like, really cold. Like, so yeah. cold that it freezes your snot when you go outside and take a deep breath. We also had uh, oh. negative degrees Tennessee. Do you live on Rocky Top Valley Parks? Good old Rocky Top. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Yeah. And Roberta, you're in South Carolina. Oh, I hear it's very beautiful there right now. My uncle was just visiting friends in South Carolina this past weekend. So. Beautiful. Uh, sketches, sketches, lives in flat farmage. Maybe it's uh, Martin. <laughs> I don't know. Huh? Could it? Could no. could this be Martin? No, that's Glenn. That's Glenn. From uh, okay. Epcot. Okay. Okay. Glenn's always there. Yeah. Uh, Spirit levels went to first protest in September 2020 with David Ike. Oh, cool. Yeah, very cool. Oh, Rocky Top is close. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Cool. I want to go visit down there. It looks so beautiful. Nice rolling hills. Yeah. Because I'm in the flatlands here. It's flat as F in Chicago. <laughs> the simulations yeah. we build virtually are really only created by replicating what we observe in the natural world. Yeah, so the metaverse, it's metaverse isn't going to be the new reality ever. It's just a simulate. Yeah, it's it's a pale comparison of reality. But they're wanting to replace they're wanting to get humans so that they're all existing pretty much a hundred percent or as close to a hundred percent as possible in a digital capacity. And we're not going to let that happen. I mean, yeah, we're on social media kind of a lot, but, but as long as you have some balance and you're getting that beautiful sunshine into your pineal gland, getting some fresh air, we have so, reverse engineered a clue about reality. The simulations that we build virtually are really only created by replicating what we observe in the natural world. Hmm. But is it I, replicated? It's like a it's like a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy. It's not yeah, looks like in the matrix, right? Can you hear me? Shit. I uh, lost Lindsay. What happens? Uh, Lindsay, when you hear me on the iPhone, please. <laughs> yeah, wait, I have to bring you in. So. Now we have two in two lenses, like last time with Santos. Can you hear me? Shit. Uh, wait a second. I try to bring you in. Yeah, uh, lenses sings my song. But we don't we don't see you in stream yet. Oh shit! Rock top, you'll always be. Now we yeah. Come to me. <laughs> Len <old> Rocky top. <laughs> Len is two times in. Rocky top Tennessee. Rocky top Tennessee. Cool. Okay. So now it works. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rolly. What's this, Rolly? In the background. Oh, definitely. Yeah, one hundred percent. Sorry. So, we were. Hi, Roberta. Ah, uh, yes, Pluto. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I forget, also. Yeah, uh, yeah. Roberta Rocha y Silva. Uh, the Pluto, Pluto, and the invasion. Right. So, yes, or two days ago, two twenty-two, twenty twenty-two. Um, I heard several people saying that it's a portal opening up or something 
and also that Pluto has returned to the United States area for the first time since 1776. Is this what you're referring to, Roberta? Pluto does not exist. Hmm? Do you mean do you mean the planet Pluto? Well, it's a or wandering what? star, right? No, Pluto at doesn't doesn't exist, Lindsay. Oh, it's like not a, it doesn't exist at all. No, no. This is the first time hearing about this, Manny. Why didn't you yeah, tell no. me? That? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have. Uh, I will tell you, and we make next time a Pluto show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll play some clips of uh, Pluto from Disney as well, because I yeah, guess yeah, that's part of the clue, right? Yeah. Right. We will find something. Um, oh, yeah, but but uh, sort of related to that as well, uh, Roberta Rocha y Silva, there was another thing. I'm going to try and um, dig this up while the video is playing, but I saw the craziest article on my phone this morning right when I woke up. Apparently, according to some scientist, uh, they found out that the inner Earth, the molten iron core that we all learned about in school, it's actually air. What? This is this is a new development, and they said it's so casually. It's it's like yeah. super air. They're calling it some sort of super air. And how they described it this morning in this article, it's pretty much exactly how this jet vacuum ionizing thing happens. I, I have to find the right words, so I'll look that up. Yeah, cartoon show. Cartoon show. Yeah, true, true, true. Has anyone out Truth. there in the chat heard of heard today that it's been announced that the supposed inner core of the globe is something completely different than any of us have been told our entire lives? And this is breaking news <laughs> that it's made out of super air. Uh, I'll, find the, it yeah, the article. Didn't but yeah, I'll start digging for that. If you want to play the video, man. Yeah, I play the video. So see us again. Oh, and... 17 Joy is here. Hello. Hi. Yeah. I already uh, bring here in the screen oh, for sorry. him. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's see where the video is. Here it is. So sound on, microphones on for the first second that we can check it. And watch level the film. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, sounds nice for me. Lenzi, sound? It could be louder. Yeah, I can. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up, please, a platter on the drums. Says the title ought to be fair, huh? But don't you find it a little suspicious that you can't find any real satellite pictures? I know it's hard to be believe, but maybe we're all being deceived. Yeah, maybe, huh? Well, if you think you've seen one up in the sky, uh uh, you can't see it with the naked eye because a satellite. It's about the size of a car, at least 300 miles away. You can't see that far, whatever those dots are, they're moving the night. Telling you that ain't no satellite. We'll come to the satellite hoax. Just another one of them, and that's a joke. You can't find me a picture of a satellite. Stop bringing up a bunch of that CGI. Just a bunch of cartoons all over the place. When I search satellites in space. Yeah, top that phrase into Google Vaults. Let me welcome you to the satellite hoax. Now 
now before all of y'all start getting pissed. I ain't saying that satellites don't exist. I'm saying that it's theoretically absurd to think these devices orbit the Earth. Because I've seen them hanging from big balloons. Even Google's doing it too now, man. Yeah, go check out Project Lord. You'll see what I mean. Every now and then a satellite crashes, but that information never gets to the masses. Cause then you'll find out how these things really work. They're just on balloons, man. They don't orbit the earth. Cause once upon a time, one crashed in Brazil with the balloon attached to its steel. Welcome to satellite host. Just a little one of them, and that's a joke. You can't find me a picture of a satellite without bringing up a bunch of that CGI. Just a bunch of cartoons all over the place. We not search satellites in space. Yeah, type that phrase into Google Books. And let me welcome you to the satellite host. How can satellites be in the thermosphere when the temperature up there is way too severe? How can that type of equipment survive? How comes those satellites aren't burned alive? I'm telling you, man, it's just a pack of lies. There ain't no orbiting satellites because 99% of our communication comes from undersea cables and cell tower stations. And GPS is ground-based too, man. Go check out a system called Loran. It's a military system for navigation that that uses ground towers to track your location. Are you seeing it yet? We'll call to the satellite host. Just another one of them, and that's a joke. You can't find me a picture of a satellite without bringing up a bunch of that CGI. Just a bunch of cartoons all over the place. We're not search satellites in space. Yeah, I'll top that phrase into Google Phones. And let me welcome you to the satellite host. You see, Tesla figured out how to communicate, yeah, without the need for satellites in space. It's mostly ground-based towers, you see, and that's how you get your satellite TV. They've monetized what Tesla made for free with their fake satellite industry. It was Arthur C. Clarke that theorized these things, these sci-fi boxes with solar waves. Another Freemason, it's no surprise. They they make science fiction and they monetize. They've stolen Tesla's technology and they make you pay for your TV. Are you seeing it now, people? We'll come to the satellite host. Just another one of them, and that's a joke. You can't buy me a picture of satellite without bringing up a bunch of that CGI. Just a bunch of cartoons all over the place. We're not search satellites in space. Yeah, I'll type that phrase into Google Books. And then we will come you to the satellite, the satellite hoax, the satellite hoax. Just another one of them, and that's a joke. You can't find me a picture of a satellite without bringing up a bunch of that CGI. Just a bunch of cartoons all over the place. We're not search satellites in space. Yeah, top that phrase into Google Phones. Let me welcome you to the satellite post. Woo! Great song. Yep. We are back, Nancy. And we have Alex Michael's music, um, Spirit Levels music. To answer your question, this is Manny's original footage. Shot yeah. P Nikon P one thousand. Yeah. And it's and of conspiracy from music. Alex. Yeah, Alex Michael, conspiracy uh, conspiracy music guru. Okay, so so Lindsay wants to share her screen. Her yeah. scream. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so sorry. let's let's do bit. this. Okay. <laughs> no I'm a little bit goofy every day. Okay, mute website notifications while sharing. Allow. Yeah. All good. Okay. 
Bring Hi. it in. Did you know that Earth might be an intelligent being? New studies suggest Earth could be an intelligent being. This isn't the exact article that I was looking for, but it's pretty close. As it turns out, the very cosmic rock we're living on at this moment may be considered an intelligent being. Yeah. A recent study shows that the planet does in fact show similar processes that other living intelligent beings possess. Conventionally, intelligence is seen as a property of individuals. However, it is also known to be a property of collectives. Here, we broaden the idea of intelligence as a collective property and extend it to the planetary scale. Oh, right now our civilization is what the researchers call an immature technosphere, a conglomeration of human-generated systems and technology that directly affects the planet, but is not self-maintaining. I think they're talking about AI here. For instance, the majority of our energy usage involves consuming fossil fuels that degrade Earth's oceans and atmosphere. The technology and energy we consume to survive are destroying our home planet, which will in turn destroy our species. You know, yes, because, because they're hiding things like free energy from us. Planets evolve through immature and mature stages and planetary intelligence is indicative of whether you get to a mature planet. The million dollar question is figuring out what planetary intelligence looks like and means for us in practice because we don't know how to move to a mature technosphere yet. Um, yeah, that article is, is one of several that I've seen. Um, sorry, where am I? One of several that I've seen uh, today, just through my perusing, I could show you more, but I don't want to. But um, <laughs> Look into this stuff yeah, about but, yeah. But you about you core. can show if you if you find a cool uh, page uh, quickly. Show us more, Lindsay. You know uh, a lot of stuff. Well, where where? Oh, no, that's the one that I just showed. Here's what the experts say. Um, Upset down. <laughs> oh yeah, this was the one that I saw before. <laughs> Our planet may have comparable personality features to other living sentient organisms. The planet may share mechanisms similar to those seen in biological organisms. Earth has learned to maintain itself by linking the biospheres, non-living air, water, and land systems. Um, no, I really want to find this, this thing about Earth's core. Oh. Earth's core. Uh, what was it? It was like super air. It was something goofy. It it made me go. Oh. Let's, Let's see from the past time. week. Uh, or was my phone just trolling me this morning? Not molten. I it was something like this. Um, go ahead, Manny. I don't know. I'm gonna have to find this, but I think it was through my. Um, I don't know. I'll stop sharing though. Hey, I don't know Santos. At this point. I've seen Santos. <laughs> Where? Yeah, uh, at your screen. Wait, wait, Santos. Uh, Lance, I send you some cool memes if you wanna bring some memes in. And Facebook, I send, it to, I send it to you. Got and it. we have we have a lot of fun with memes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. Here we go. Oh yeah, crap! <laughs> it's this damn Word document format again, Manny. I killing me. Okay. <laughs> uh, here. Yeah, yeah, I made the video and Alex Michael make the music and I've also seen the question how much the Nikon B1000 is. 
where was this question here? So let's take a look. How much is it now? You got it at what? Three years ago? Two years ago? Uh, at the first time it was, uh, I can buy it in Austria. Mm. And I buy it. Uh, the shop is called Hatlauer, but now I will look for it in Amazon. Uh, 800 uh 80 euro no wait 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 b1000 is Brian's back back in the house wait, wait, wait. by the way um people out there uh martin we invited martin on but he told me that he was going to be going live later today i think at 9 p.m gmt which is only like an hour from now I haven't, yeah. checked I haven't checked them. We, we will all all switch over to Martin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <go. laughs> Flat Flatters family. Yeah, let's move this party to yeah. the next location. But yeah, we'll have to we'll have to wrap it up in not too long because I gotta take care of some house stuff, yeah. family stuff. Yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're happy right so. now. The tide could turn at any moment. They could just <laughs> Roller can jump every yeah. second. Yeah. So Most now I'm. Um, I I heard I heard I heard him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one thousand one hundred euros. The B one thousand. Okay, ready for memes. Yeah. Wait a second. I show them. Ooh. Uh, on the Nikon homepage, you can find it. And you need a good uh three pod. Tripod. Tripod, yeah. And uh, you should mm -hmm. also get uh, the Fernauslöser. What's the right word? The remote control, Lindsay. Oh, yeah. Remote shutter. Yeah. Yeah, so you don't have to touch it and shake the camera every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, here is the remote. It's not so expensive, I think about 45 euros. Yeah. So, yeah, we are ready for you, Lindsay. Okay. I go back here. Okay. And I go oh. here. Like Santos. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that was funny with him. Yeah. He, 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 he was the piano. Whoa! Hey, uh, we have a guest. Oh, we do. Wait, wait. Oh, hi, Maddie. Hi. Flat dumps. You want to read some memes? Sure. <coughs> wait, Isn't first, that? first we make double flat dumps. Double flat dumps, all of us. Double flat dumps. Yeah. It's flat. <laughs> it's flat. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I had the most delightful conversation with my mom this morning about that. Oh shit. I just want to jump on real fast. I heard you're doing memes. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. do memes. Do you wanna read some? Sure. Lens okay. screen is shared. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Go for it, man. Your whole entire false reality. Oh, crap. <laughs> All right, on your own. And belief system is based on cartoons, computer generated images. Right. Everything's yeah. based on cartoons and computer generated images. That's right. Leonardo Fibonacci. Oh, shit. Yeah. That moment you realize. Not this crap again. Here we go. Oh, so Lindsay, this is uh, Leonardo uh, sorry, Fibonacci. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Lindsay, can you uh, stand your microphone? uh at another place oh is because, it doing that thing again yeah like like it was with santos oh the, the booming yeah but now it yeah every okay. time when you go down maybe you need an uh, need a mouse Lindsay. uh oh i've uh i do have a mouse right here. yeah then then stick it in the laptop <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> how, how hey, are you? I'm how doing are good. You? I'm doing yeah. really good. Yeah, I bring you uh, 
in the screen when Lindsay will uh, put her USB in. Okay, there we go. So uh, let's need to read check. This yeah, Lindsay, now it's perfect. Yay, now I can see. Yeah, that. sweetness, 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 sweetness. Thank you for the suggestion. Okay, what does this say about uh, Leonardo Fibonacci? Mette, your part? I can't read German. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, he was uh, a mathe uh, uh, master of, mathematician, math, master yeah. mathematician. Yeah, yeah, master of math, and uh, he was in Paris and in Italia. Pisa. Oh, yeah, Pisa. he's he, yeah, Pisa. Is he the one I, responsible for that crooked building? <laughs> you, mm -hmm. you mean, is that his fault? I don't know. I am not sure. <laughs> yeah, let's but, blame Jonathan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go on, Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, we know. Who's reading? That moment you realize you're actually part of the fucking revolution. The government is lying. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the government is lying. 9-11 was an inside job. 7-11. Oh, right. shh. <laughs> the earth is flat and I have no friends. True that. <laughs> oh, but my people... gosh. <clears throat> but no, you're my friends. friends. Yes, yeah. you've got, got sure. some friends. Usually not right. in real life, though. If you've, got an, if you've got a real life friend, then you're very lucky. No. Yeah, I, I'm really lucky. It's my... hard to propagate these uh, real life friends. Yes, these are yeah. real Look! Look at this! Look at this document in, in the newspaper. Oh. The army document tells the truth: electromagnetic fields over the flat Earth. Uh, propagation yeah. of electromagnetic fields over the flat Earth. Is that a real headline? Yeah! 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 Well, well I'll be a son of a something. Look, that's, and that's from 21 years ago. So I guess that got buried somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One little piece they give you. Mm hmm Oh. <laughs> Brainwashed sheep. You want a balloon? <laughs> yeah. Crap. Research. It should be, it should be, it shouldn't be NASA. It should be like society, you know, like uh, holding that little balloon. Yeah, NASA is not. Yeah, I right. don't like it when people suggest it's, that NASA is like the head of right everything. it's much no, bigger than nasa yeah they're, they're just doing their job which is the space propaganda division right. um but people do love their globe balloons they love them yeah I say know. oh this I is know. so pretty and they're so proud and they're so and they've got this whole unified sort of amazed uh attitude but it's based on life that's the problem well the good thing about a balloon is you just pop it and it disappears. You know what? There's a music video. Um, there's a music video uh, by Regina Spector. Uh, the song is called Us. And in her music video, she pops a globe and winks at the camera. Right, hidden in plain sight. Always. I think the music industry really knows a lot more than, um, you know, yeah. any, younger, yeah, uh, any sure. other industry. For yeah. sure. I would even say more than the mute, like the movie industry. I think the music industry, because you know these bands come out, you know, um, like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I think the all. What about, the, Red, what about Red Hot Chili Peppers? Did they have a? They're, they're they the ones that said space is space is fake, and it's made in the Hollywood basement. Yeah, and then uh, REM said, if you put, if you believe, they put a man on the moon. Then, right. If you believe, put a man on the moon. Right. They can sell okay. you the world. Oh, nice, man. nice robes. Look at those robes. Oh, Myrtle, mm. Myrtle für die Freimaurer. Yeah. That, uh, what, what is, what does that actually translate to, Manny? Is that like, F U Freemasons? Yeah, like yeah. this. Um, are they on opposing sides? How can that be when they wear United Nations colors with Masonic symbols? Sky blue. Sky is blue. Sky blue. Mm. 
Rose. Firmament. Firmament. I haven't, blue. I haven't right. seen Rose with this shade before. This is the this is the mm -hmm. first time I've seen people in this particular costume. Let's yeah. Say, pay attention to the to, to you know signs, symbols, and colors. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Okay, Maddie. Research yeah. uh, River of Grass, Florida Everglades, missing over 5,000 feet of curvature in all directions. Flat Earth. Mm -hmm. Have you have you been down there? Have you I been drove there? through the Everglades, um, like for five hours. Like going to Miami one time, I was going to like from um, Marco Island to Miami. So I kind of had to cut through on a diagonal from like kind of the uh, East Coast, yeah. kind of down to Miami, which is more um, central. And it was incredible. I drove through like three um, Native American Indian reservations. Reservations. Yeah. Uh, cool. They all they have, have their own. Do they have that, those sand boat tours there as well? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I took one. Oh, I wow. took a, uh, a swamp boat tour. Um, it was awesome. It was real fun. Yeah, so and this funny. was um, this was during like when kind of COVID just kind of broke out and and there were people on the boat that had masks on. That was hysterical. Oh. Wow. And and the nature with the yeah, masks. In nature, outside. yeah, on a boat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're never it's going a... so fast. I lost my my baseball hat. They must have heard that COVID can be spread through uh, alligator farts. Right. Right. Yeah. Especially, you know, you know how the sun, uh, <laughs> you know, the sun is instantaneously sanitizing. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Nothing could live in sunlight that is poisonous or dangerous, really. Yeah. And if on that sun, level, if if sun would be a gas ball, uh, it needs uh, air that it could burn. But right. if if space is real, yeah. It's vacuum. Yeah. How does how does a how does a flame yeah, how does a fireball burn in the vacuum? Right. Have you guys ever seen the videos of the um gentleman demonstrating using um like vacuum little like bell glass dome um vacuum chambers and he would put a, like a little um like a little tray of gunpowder inside of it and he would light it using a high intense um, laser pointer and as soon as the laser would touch the gunpowder it would immediately ignite it and then you suck all the air out of it and do the same thing and it does not light exactly it's it's pretty it's really incredible like to see this yeah. wow. he put several things that were uh, volatile in in there pumped all the air out and it became useless so I don't know how rockets could fire in a vacuum. So he was pointing a laser at it from outside the container? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right through the glass, and it would immediately like light it right up. As soon as it touched that black gunpowder, boom. But not with the vacuum. Not when there's no air. That's it just true. sits there, <laughs> you know. All right. It's incredible. Damn. Yeah, I'd like to see that. Here we go. Yeah. Read. All right. Admit Atmosphere, this. positive pressure, vacuum of space, negative pressure, science. Uh, no barrier necessary. <laughs> All right. Who cares? We don't need a barrier. And Even though oh. nature avoids a vacuum. And submarine at 10,000 feet, water pressure, inside low pressure, science. Steel barrier critical. Hmm. Make it right? make sense. Uh, I've seen this. Wow. 50 miles away. Yep. And from India. So are you in Chicago, right, Lens? Yes. Okay. Uh, Lens. Yes. Lens. Lens, no. love. Lens. Lens, okay. lens love. Non-polarizing lens, love. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's. Uh, maybe maybe that's where my seeds of flat earthiness were planted as a child when I would go to Lake Michigan. And, you know, when you're standing on the shore, it, it's just as big as an ocean, you know, you can't. Right. Just flat everywhere. Except you can see way, 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 way farther than you should be able to see if it were on a ball. So flat. Yeah. Oops. 
Uh, I like the street lights from the airplane. Can you go to the airplane? The street lights from the airplane? Look at that. That's right? Okay. Yeah. 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 From the top of the (laughs) plane. It's plane. It's (laughs) plane. Yeah. We've got the Sears Tower, and it's, uh, I think it's got like 900 something floors. So it kind of looks like this from the 900th floor when you're looking out at this. Right. Yeah. It's kind of like you're out of an airplane that high up. Definitely very computer grid looky looking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Street lights from space. Nice curvature there. Oh, I think we lost Mette. His, oh, no. His sound is gone. Did we? But he can. Now, go on, Lindsay. Okay. He, he can jump in. I see this on Did my... he really say this? The earth is chubby? I don't Here. know. I know he I, called it. I only pure shit. Pure shit. Pure fiction. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this guy's face. I can't stand him. Pure fiction. Yeah. <laughs> Went to debug flat earth, but couldn't and found God instead. All right. Yeah. Win-win. We know. We know it's flat. And we have a great. Uh, it's the best way to, uh, yeah. It's the best way to improve your life is to go yeah. searching for answers and find them. Oh, this is a, a good thing for uh, Vika Dra- Dravit. Uh, Drasif. Well, Drasif, yeah. Yeah. So I instrument, don't know. Instruments yeah. used in aviation. We have an alt, an altimeter, altimeter. And an yeah. artificial horizon on the SR-71 Blackbird. <laughs> Instruments not used in aviation. Curve a meter. And <laughs> grab a meter. <laughs> yeah. I like that. This is one for us, Lente. Yes. Love that. Yeah. And now we know. Yeah, we know about gyroscopes. Uh, top speed, 2,193 miles per hour. So that should be 566 miles of curvature. If the Earth were a globe, the aircraft would have to fly pointed downward at a rate of 9.45 miles per minute to avoid flying into orbit. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Toby explained how uh, how the artificial horizon, which is uh, linked to a gyroscope with yeah. three gimbals inside, um, is calibrated based on the flatness of the tarmac before takeoff and cannot be adjusted in mid-flight. Um, and uh, people tell lies about the nature of a gyroscope and say, oh, it can just automatically readjust itself to the curve, you know, as it goes onward. That's really friggin' fast. And this artificial horizon is not adjusting itself. It's, it's set to the flat takeoff point. Yeah. It's like Mach 2. It's fast as hell. I think, yeah. Google knows. Yes, they do. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> and Martin and me knows the firmament is also flat. Well, yeah. we're going to have to share. I will, I will bring next time the video in. Uh, I hope Debbie or you will uh, give me a kick that I will bring the video in or a, a reminder oh, oh yeah remind you yeah oh look at the beautiful cinematics stunning yeah oh, do these look familiar guys yes of course they do our beautiful rose windows yeah oh i love it oh this is it's beautiful this, yeah everything rotates around us because our Earth's magnetic field is the greatest of them all. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, and um, and uh, where were we? Where are we hearing about this? Oh, is that is that? Uh, yeah, we'll have to talk more about gyroscopes later. Really, it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. Gyroscopes completely disprove everything. Completely. This is That's the best one. <laughs> this is one for. <laughs> it's like Glober, but real. Yeah. Flat Earth. <laughs> Welcome to Flat Earth, and welcome to the revolution, by the way. It's not televised, but it's on. Yeah. 
Did you know in 2013, China landed on the moon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they showed this in television. You can see the television pictures. Look and look. Guy. He looks pretty Lindsay. sad. Yeah, Lindsay, look right uh, uh, when they sit in there like NASA. What? Yeah. Is there mission control? They're all a bunch yeah. of uh, computer graphics animators. Yeah, maybe the... Ah, uh, uh, Mette is back. Hey, man, oi, sorry. Oi. It kicked me off. Oi, oi. Oi, oi. It kicked me off. It said I was too far away from the router. Maddie, look yeah. at this dumb shit here. Yeah. What is that? Is Lego? Is that Legos? <laughs> no, this is the moon landing in 2013. From look China. At it. Look at his cute little face. He's like, look at me. I'm on the moon. Are you for real? That's real? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't. This is it what they wasn't. Put out. And the television. It was so <laughs> fake. The media didn't even cover it. Does it have three legs, like a tripod, like the other one too? Uh, maybe. It might be four. <laughs> they they advance. They got one more leg. Okay, they're they're advancing their technology. But look at yeah. his little face. Right. Right. <laughs> and what does that panel do exactly? That big useless panel. What does that do? Uh, like, what could that possibly be used for? You know. Yeah, and and how we would they come back to the spinning ball? Yeah, how does it get? How does it get back? Does this whole thing fold up like a folding chair, like a yeah. camp chair? Yeah, a like a beach chair. You strap it over your shoulder. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, it's so beautiful and fat. That's interesting. Yeah. That's really interesting. Curved versus flat surface with the sun reflection. Yep. Wow. It's all you need to know, but these assholes tell us that our senses are not enough. That's true, Lindsay. Bastards. <laughs> I love that smiling picture, Rowdy Rowdy. That's, that's yeah. great. Is that real? Yeah. Or is that like... Uh, no, they uh, added it in. Yeah. They added that in. Look, that thing. Uh, look, look at the uh, cartoon. Met the right right that's really all aw that's awesome that's some high tech look at the coastline too like yeah <laughs> behind it yeah 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 pretty it's pretty calm uh compared to most cartoons usually right. you'd have a curve like this right right this mm. is pretty subtle yeah. <laughs> it looks like construction yeah. paper uh. all right wait a second brian evans wrote the thing we are stupid <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so go, on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Wait, did we see these? Yeah, I think the rest of these are ones that we've already seen before, man. Would you look at it? What the heck is that? It's a piece of shit. Man. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. Ooh. I can't Better, even look at them. Your, your butt. Your birth, brother. One thing I really want your generation to embrace is that the Earth is a closed system. We cannot leave Earth, says Bill Nye. Yeah, and he's a okay. cophead. Right? It's a closed system, he's saying. What a miserable yeah. face he has. He's, he's very disappointed with himself. Yeah. He's a fucking shit. We can't go to Mars, so we'll just fake it. Yeah, let's, let's not. Uh, Matt, have you seen the film from Vic, uh, uh, Flatten the Curve? The new one that just came out? Yeah. Yes, yeah. you posted it on your channel. Uh, yeah. And I, and I watched it. It was it was really, really great. And they, um, that was the one where they had pilots and radar technicians. Yeah. And top secret uh, people with security clearances, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I mean. <laughs> uh, they also talked about the radar because it's now yes. on our screen, yeah? Well, the guy was distinctly talking about there are in the ship's, like, um, headquarters, there's, like, command center. They have, a like, a basic screen, and then they have a bigger screen in which it's yeah. projected yeah. on. And yeah. that bigger screen is kind of occulted from the crew most of the time. Mm. That's kind of what I took away from it. He was yeah. trying to differentiate that there are in a, in a ship with radar uh, that could see for hundreds of miles. There, you know, there's two different types of screens that you could observe it on. Like one, I guess, general, and one for the people who know what's up. Yeah, that's wow. true. 
and, uh, and that's that's how easy compartmentalization is right there yeah and then we have the phrase oh it's above my pay grade sure is sure is right and that, that you know that's true this is funny yeah we saw this last time yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think I think that's it, Manny. I don't want to show I don't want to show the same stuff from before. And uh, uh, is is this uh, have you seen this, Lente? Yeah, we saw these last time Maddie was here. Really, Matty? Yeah. Yep. Why don't you oh, sorry. There's Trump with his flat head. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So let's. Sharing. Yeah. Bring us back to the so, screen. So, Maddie, do you have people in your life that you can? Say, hey, come over and uh, let's watch something interesting, you know, nope. instead of watching the game. No, mm -mm. <laughs> no, I wish I have. I have friends, I have many friends, but to drop this type of knowledge on them, you really can't just give it to someone. They have to seek it themselves. You know, um, I was listening to Eddie Bravo talk and. and I was listening to the frustration in his voice a while ago because he was trying to explain, but he just kind of got sick of it. And he's like, look, you have to come to this for yourself to really get the gravitas of the situation. Like, I still don't, I don't know what we live on, but I know what we don't live on. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, I, we can't see past a certain point, right? Like we can, let me see who, somebody was saying they launched like an air, like a, a balloon and camera, I think on the top of the Rocky Mountains and, you know, like a GoPro or something or a dog cam. And uh, they, like, that was incredible. But I mean, imagine trying to get like a boat out there in like the North Atlantic or something as far as you could get and then send like, some, you know, a few balloons up. You know? Yeah. Hang on a second. Lindsay? I'm just muting himself for a second. I might have to jump off. I might have to go talk to somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he'll be back then. Yeah, yeah. The Navy can yeah. listen to you in your house if they want. Yeah. We're like the Fraggles from Fraggle Rock. Manny, are you familiar with Fraggle Rock? No. Oh, uh, Andrea, you might have to make me play the <laughs> the Fraggle Rock um, the Fraggle Rock uh, trailer. Uh, Martin talked about something um, similar to Fraggle Rock, which is called the Wombles. And their Wombling Code. I don't know if you guys remember this from a couple of years ago. I only can say you your sound is now very perfect. Oh, it is. Uh, yeah, and, the, and when Matt jumps in with his headset, it's not, it's really loud. Oh, yeah, because he's in his kitchen. I'm in a like very yeah. cozy place yeah. here. Yeah. Of yeah. Um, yeah, Martin will go live in about 35 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. Unless I misunderstood, but I think that's what he said to me. Yeah. He said later, 9 p.m. later, he said. Yeah, I also found this. Wait, Lindsay, look at your. All right, uh, let's. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna have Fraggle Rock. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Can you see this? Huh? Does this mean Martin will go live? Uh, no. no. I'm just going off of what. Oh no, no no yeah he says oi oi, I'm I'm live later at nine p.m. Yeah. PMT. There we go. Cool. Yeah. Um, wait, 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 Martin. Yeah, Martin, if you're out there. Uh, yeah. Fraggle Rock. Let's check out the Fraggles. Um, I, I'm i a fan of Jim Henson. I think that he was a genuinely nice person um, that was sucked into a very commercialized aspect of the entertainment industry. Everything really? good? Yeah, yeah, everything's good. My wife okay. just came out. She's on the phone talking. Okay, we're going to have a little blast from the past here. You remember Fraggle Rock, Maddie? Yes, I'm on Fraggle Rock. Do, do, 
do do do. Show it to me, Lente. It. Why? Okay, here we go. Do 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 do. Okay. No sounds. How about now? I hear you. Do you hear no the video? Sound. No, I don't. What the heck? Volume up. <sighs> uh, uh, Lente, when you yeah. click uh, screen sharing in StreamYard, you have to uh, uh, make the hackal for sound. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, med med medic, uh, please check a headset for the next time. A good one. Do you have a Do you have a fancy one? No. Why yeah. these these giving off noise? Yeah, yeah. I don't think they it's are. bad. I don't think it's bad, but but this it's no, Matty, Manny, you're just hearing the noises of his house. That's not that's not going to change. Okay, 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 okay. Mute. Do I click mute website notifications while sharing? Is that going to stop YouTube from making sound? Uh, Valley Parks asks, did they kill Jim in an accident? Well, according to the news, uh, he died from pneumonia because he <clears throat> he had a he was out in bad weather, and. Um, and uh, <clears throat> he came home, he got sick, and he didn't go to the doctor. And before you knew it, his infection progressed really rapidly. Um, and he just died. But to me, that is so fishy because that man was an excellent, excellent help. Um, and I think made of spiritually very strong stuff. And it's not a coincidence that shortly after he died, the Jim Henson company took a completely different direction and is pretty much unrecognizable. You know, yeah, Jim Henson was a genius. He was, and he had such a gift for, for connecting with people and bringing people together. I really admire his work, and I don't think yeah. he was a bad guy. But, no. but the way that things are nowadays, like if you watch Sesame Street today, you'd be, I don't know if anyone has, but I, uh, Sambo, Sambo will go live in a few minutes. Well, I think Martin's going live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Martin's going live in like uh, half an hour. Yeah, and I gotta pick up my kids anyways and do some stuff for him. I think you need to choose audio before you choose the screen you want to share. What? Uh, I don't know what that means. Oh, dang it. Let's, let's try it uh, next time, Lindsay. All right. Okay, yeah, I think we have... I think yeah. we have to wrap it up anyways, but... I also want to switch over to Martin and Santos. How can you have both at the same time? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I can because I have two monitors. Control center. <laughs> Control center. He's running the app center. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I'm going yeah. to try and dig into some, I'm going to try and find that article that I was telling you guys about yeah. with with uh, revealing that the core of the earth has changed all of and a sudden. And uh, try yes. to download the videos and upload it in your YouTube channel. I will share them for you. Okay. You know what? I I, 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 I don't think I could download because I don't pay for YouTube. So I think I have to. No, 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 no. YouTube no, is okay. free. YouTube there's, a is program, free. there's a program called 4K Video Downloader, which is yeah. free. You can use that to all you do is paste a YouTube link into the software and click download and then it saves it as an MP4 on your computer. It's really yeah, okay. it's really, really easy to use. So And we are in connection in Telegram and maybe I have your number now, right? Have a, not the, he uh, in he's the not on any social media, no? He's in Telegram. Are you? We found. I us. think I have Telegram. We found. Oh yeah! Us. Oh yeah! Yeah yeah! I, right. I I think I might have Odyssey as well, but Maddie I've never Moore? used it. Yeah, you're Maddie Moore, right? No. Yeah yeah yeah. Oh, you're not Maddie Moore. No. Oh, we were we were talking to Maddie Moore. We were like, hey, Maddie. 
Yeah. That wasn't even crap. Okay, okay. I'm sure, he loved the love. <laughs> okay. Well, basically, so we have no way of reaching you unless we, we want we, to. We, you. Yeah. we will. We will find us. Right, I'll find you. I'll find you. Yeah, time yeah. after time, if yeah. the bed, you will find me. It's flat, flat. Right. It's flat as fuck. Flat, yeah, right? F A F. Sorry, I just drop f bombs left and right. Yeah. Okay, thanks to everyone in chat for hanging yeah. with us. Valley Parks, Andrea, Seventeen Joy, Glenn. Deborah, we see us next time. Yes. Thank Goodness. you. Guys. Thank Africa. you for the invite. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Okay, stay yeah. flat, Maddie. We'll yeah. see you on the next Stay flat, everybody. Yeah, Lance, we are in connection. Uh, we are in connection. Ciao. All right. All right. Okay, have a great Ciao. day, everyone. You too. Have wait, a good wait. day, guys. Bye. Oi, oi. Ciao. Wait, wait. Ciao.